I have been working on a 2D top-down bullet heaven, where the player has to fight space with tons of enemies. In the future the enemies are going to drop loot, which can then be used to upgrade the turret the player is controlling. So the game is going to have a roguelite component, where the player is going to become stronger and stronger and can then survive more and bigger ways of enemies. We are currently on a map which spawns 2300 enemies over 60 seconds. The first spawn point is up here in the top right corner with a long corridor. This should make this spawn point relatively easy since the enemies are all nicely funneled towards the player, plus you can see from below how many enemies are still coming. The second spawn point is here in this dead end and enemies coming from here might come up from behind the player. The third spawn point is here in the lower left corner and when enemies are coming from this spawn point as well as from the first one in the top right corner, they all funnel up here into one big wave. If the player can send out this wave enough, you could then kite the enemies in a circle around this middle section. If you have any thoughts about the layout of this first map, please let me know in the comments. Any feedback is really appreciated. Then what you might have already noticed is that the camera is slightly offset from the center, depending on the position of the cursor and if the player is shooting. This should give the player some more space in the direction he is focused on. Then what I also looked into is audio. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the sound effects around, but I'm glad that the audio is already coming from the direction of the audio source. For example, if I aim towards the left, the sound effect is played louder on the left speaker. I haven't done audio in C++ before, so I'm glad this is already working. There is lots of other technical stuff in the background I've done to get the game even running with that many enemies like space partitioning for collision detection or I use flow fields for pathfinding. I can show you a debug grid that shows you the results of the pathfinding algorithm. Each grid cell has a direction assigned to it the enemies are moving towards. The red channel shows the movement on the x-axis and the green channel the movement on the y-axis. And then we have these blue cells that indicate that an enemy is in direct line of sight of the player and should move directly towards him and not from tile to tile. Another thing I can show you is the data I generate the map from. The zeros are free cells the player can move in. A1 is a wall, A3 represents a spawn point with one or more waves separated by a minus. The first value in a wave is the start time of the wave in seconds, the second one the duration and the last one the amount of enemies spawned during this time. The first row has some metadata about the map like the width of the map, the height, the number of walls and the number of waves. Well, I think I've shown you most of the stuff I've done so far. One of the next things that I want to implement are exploding enemies. They should give the player a target to focus on with a huge payoff in the explosion. If you are interested in this project, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like and if you have feedback, let me know in the comments. It really helps and I hope to see you in the next one.